Baby, you've really been chugging those down tonight. Do you want to slow down? I know you're having fun, but... It, this doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem right. Look, I've been drinking alongside you, but I stopped and you, you're not showing any signs of it. And I just, I, I worry about you and I, I, I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Are you sure? I, I know you've been having, I know you've been having a really rough time right now, especially with how work is and, especially with how work is and, you know, with your parents and I, I just, I worry about you. I, I don't, I really, really don't want to see you going down, going down any kind of path like this. You know what this is. You know what I'm talking you know what I'm talking about. Using alcohol as a... as some kind of crutch. Using any kind of substance, really. Do you know when to stop? Uh, it kind of feels like you don't. Baby, you are... you are past drunk. I, I don't know how you're talking to me right now. I cannot count the amount of drinks that you have had, and you just seem to be, you just don't seem to care. Baby, baby, I, 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 I don't trust you. Yes, of course I do. Of course I trust you. Baby, I, I just don't want. I'm just, I'm just worried, okay? I'm just worried. Am I allowed to be worried? Sweetheart, you, your, your reassurances that you're fine and you can keep going is not the issue. The issue is that you are not stopping and I've noticed that trend. This is not an isolated incident and I know you have been struggling with a lot of stuff right now and I know that you have had problems with substance in the past and I know that I am worried about you. Okay? You know, I'm sorry that I am, but... I realize that you being drunk right now, that this isn't, this probably isn't the best time to be talking about all this. I get that, because you're not in your right mind, especially with how much you have drank. So, I apologize that I am doing this right now, but I feel like it's necessary. I think you are just taking this a little far and I have faith in you but I am concerned so can you please stop drinking for tonight please thank you I'm sorry for getting like that I I really just don't want to see you going down a bad path if I can possibly help it. Okay, I trust you. freshened up. Babe, you ready to go to bed? <sighs> Fucking tired. Uh, are you kidding? 
What are you doing? Give me that. Give me that. Are you joking, babe? You promised me. You promised me that you would stop for tonight. And what do I find you doing? Are you for real right now? Is this the only one? I didn't see the... I didn't see the two other bottles who were right at your feet. Are you joking right now? After you have had who knows how many, you pile another three on in the not really long time that I was in the shower? Are you fucking for real right now? Yeah, I'm a little bit mad. I'm a little bit upset. I'm sorry. But I specifically said for you to stop. And usually, I would say, it's fine. Keep drinking. It's, it's, it, it's fine. We're having fun. But if I tell you to stop, then there has to be a reason, right? I wouldn't just do that because I hate you. It's quite the opposite. I do it because I love you. And g give me it! You're serious. You are about to take another sip as I was... We need to have a chat. We need to have a fucking talk right now. I don't frankly care that you're too sloshed right now to really pay attention. You're gonna pay attention. I'm sorry, babe. I really don't want to come at you all guns blazing like this. I really don't. But something is clearly going on and I need to step in. Clearly I do. Put your arm around my shoulder. Taking you to the bed. Alright, sit down. Or lie down, either way. And I will sit down next to you so that you know I'm not towering over you. Now, baby, this has to stop. I don't know if you've been drinking in secret. I don't know if this, if this is specifically an issue you've had in the past. I don't know if... I don't know. I... I will admit that. I don't know. Alright? But clearly something is going on. Even if you're... Even if you haven't turned to the bottle outright and put in a fucking fancy little title about it. <laughs> even if you're not going that far, clearly something ain't fucking clicking. So you need to talk to me. Because I am not going to just turn a blind eye, walk out, let you do whatever the fuck you want, and you drink yourself to death. I am not really looking forward to the possibility of that. So if you could do me the greatest service right now, please tell me why. Because I am scared. It might seem like I'm just freaking out over nothing. It might seem like that. I grant you that. But you can't stop. Even if it's just for tonight, that's a problem, right? You can't stop. Are you thinking about drinking right now? That's a problem, babe. It's gone beyond, oh, we're having a good time. Are you having a good time? Are you having fun right now? No. So why? It doesn't even taste that good, right? I, I, I gotta make jokes to diffuse the tension, babe. I, you're freaking me out. You are really freaking me out. So why? Ugh. <sighs> 
Things have just been getting to you. And at night, you want to turn your brain off. <sighs> I get it. I do. I do. I haven't turned to the bottle, but I can admit I've been in a similar situation before. It's not good. Okay? It's not. And I am so, so sorry that it has taken until you were basically screaming for some kind of assistance that has taken this much for me to fully take notice. I am so sorry, baby girl. I am so sorry. And I, I, I want to help you. I'm not mad at you. I'm sorry that I got so heated before, but you can imagine that I was freaked out, right? And I, I just, I, I want to be here for you. I so want to be here for you because this, this is not, this is not, this is not the woman that I fell for. It's not. And I want to help you regain her. I want to help you get her back. So what can I do? just listen I can do that I can I can absolutely do that but for me to listen I need something to listen to so please you need to promise me that you are going to talk because I can offer to listen but if there's nothing to listen to I'm just a sitting duck <sighs> I know that I know that things have been going wrong with work and I know the situation with your parents is a little tenuous right now. So I do know those things. Is there anything else that you haven't, that you failed to mention? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You were specifically not eating so that you can drink less and feel more. Baby. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, love. So it's not just tonight. It's... <laughs> I noticed you've been losing weight. I should have fucking said something. I should have, I should have questioned it, because I didn't notice you never mentioned that you were trying to lose it. You didn't need to. Baby, baby girl. You can't shoulder these kinds of things by yourself. You can't, baby. Baby. I'm at a loss. I don't have the words, but I'm gonna do my fucking best right now. Because you need it. Right now, you need my best. So I will try, but I apologize. The words might not mean a lot, and there might not be that many of them. But I, I want you to know that we are in a that in a good enough financial situation right now that if if you needed change occupation so that you could you could be in a better working environment, baby. Listen, listen to me, okay? If you needed to change jobs so that this could be lifted off of you, then we totally can do that. Okay, we can. And 
the things with your parents, they might not ever get fixed. They might not, right? Like, they're of a generation that, you know, if they if they have their mindset, they're not really going to change it. So I get it, and we might not be able to change that. And I am so sorry, baby, that that is the case. But sometimes people aren't willing to change. You can. Everyone can. But sometimes people don't want to. And if they don't want to, then... There's nothing you can do about it. And that's something that you need to accept. And baby, drowning yourself in alcohol and starving yourself is not going to win their respect, if that's what you're looking for. It's not, baby. I, and I know that's, that's not what you want to hear. I know that's not what anyone wants to hear. But baby, you're going to destroy yourself if you were just trying to win their love. If you need to win your parents' love, then they're not worth giving it to you. They're not worth shit, quite fucking frankly. And I bet if <laughs> if this is this much of like a like an issue for you, right? I bet that they probably implanted a fuck ton of shit in there, right? Into that into that f beautiful but fucked up brain of yours. Yeah, I'd be really inclined to fucking agree. They can get fucked. They can suck my physical dick and they can chew on a brick fucking get kicked and I don't fucking know get their eyeball licked I don't fucking know they need to get fucked and they need to go the fuck away they're not worth shit they're not worth shit they're not gonna change and you can't just be running all of your life to them, hoping that you're going to get the reaction that you want. Because doing the same thing over and over, and not getting, like, getting the same result, but still doing it. It's insanity, baby. That's the very definition of insanity. And you are not insane. But I don't want you to drive yourself insane. They are not worth anything. Your time, your patience, your energy, your thoughts, your fucking... Your fucking breathing space. If they don't start getting their shit together... That I'm sorry, but I'm about to burn some fucking bridges. Sorry, not sorry, baby. I am not fucking around. I am not fucking around. They, they cannot get you to this kind of place and then expect that I'm just gonna fucking be like, oh, it's fine, live your life. Fuck no. I will give them hell and fuck if, if that means... Look, the only reason I'm not doing that is because I don't want them to have any more reason to hurt you. I, that's the only reason why I don't. Because I guarantee that that is what is going to happen if I do that. You fucking stupid girlfriend fucking dressed us down. Oh, fucking no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, baby. I'm sorry. That was, that was a lot. I'm sorry. I think that it is time for a job change. I think you need to put in a two week notice. You don't even like this job. And frankly, it doesn't really pay that much. 
They don't respect you, you don't like it, and the pay is shit, so why the fuck are you there? Your parents taught you to never give in. <laughs> I see. Did they also teach you to never put up with bullshit? Did they also teach you never to fucking drink yourself to death? Did they fucking teach you basic self-respect? I don't think they fucking did that. So frankly, any fucking lesson that they've instilled in you... It's time to do some unlearning, baby girl. Time to do some unpacking. Because we don't fuck with that. Yeah. Never give in. Sure, that's a great- that's great in theory. Really, it is. Resilience and uh, a certain degree of stubbornness is generally a good thing. But not when it leads you to a substance, or it leads you down a path like this. Nothing is worth that. Nothing. So you're going to give your parents the first fuck you. You're going to put a new two-week notice. You've been saying you want to quit, so quit. I'm telling you to. You are quitting. You're putting in your two-week... You're putting in your two-week notice. You are leaving. You are taking some time off. And we are finding you something better. We're in a stable enough situation right now that we can afford that. And we can also afford some help for you. I know you haven't gotten in touch with your therapist for a while, so maybe it's time we dust that number off. Plus, maybe it's good to talk to someone who knows a little more about substances. I'm not calling you an alcoholic. No one ever- no one ever said that. And, not but, Clearly, you're having trouble with alcohol. I'm not saying you're an alcoholic. I'm not going to say that you are. But you can still have trouble with a substance without it be without you being like completely like addicted to it. Like a dependency or like a misuse. It's, it's kind of similar, but it's 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 like it's it's at that precipice where it hasn't really turned fully yet. There's more chance that we're gonna be able to just, you know, chuck a yui. <laughs> yeah. So I think that that would definitely be worth it. Because baby, as long as I am alive, as long as you have me in your life. I am not going to allow you to fucking fall any further down this ladder. I am not. I can't. I physically can't. I will I will give you all the help that you need. And and more if I can possibly help it, and I'll employ the help of other people. I will do everything in my power to help you because I really Really don't want to see you get like this again. I know you're dizzy. And I know your head is pounding. I'm sorry. This needed to be talked about, baby. You're getting bed spins. Mm. Oh dear, baby. How about you get properly into bed, huh? No, you just need to sleep this off right now. I can give you a melatonin if you want. <laughs> no? You'll throw it up. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'll, um... I'll get you... I'll get you a bucket and just sleep, baby. Just sleep. 
you're gonna be hella fucking hungover tomorrow. So sleep as much as you can now. And I like it's 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 Saturday tomorrow. It's fine. I can stay. I can stay all day, and I will. I will make sure you're looked after, and when your head clears, we can. We can start on this road to betterment, okay? For now, I will help you treat the short-term issue. Okay. You know I love you, right? Use your big girl words, baby. Hmm. That's right. Good. Alright. I'll stop talking your ear off. You don't need that right now. So get under the blankets, I'll get you some get you some hangover supplies and just sleep. Okay? And dream about a better tomorrow because you're gonna get it. And a better tomorrow doesn't necessarily mean tomorrow. It's a better future. some sleep, baby. I love you. And I'm sorry. <laughs>